Hey guys, what's going on? Today's the day we start pulling the power motor apart. Hey guys, what's going on? Today's the day we start pulling the power motor apart. Now, I've been thinking about how we're gonna do this. And I've decided on making a short series of maintenance videos. So let's kick this series off with how to adjust and even remove your belt. Right, your engine might not look identical to this, but I can assure you the method of tensioning or replacing a belt is gonna be pretty much the same. It's worth noting that this engine hasn't got a cage on it. You won't need to remove your engine to do this piece of maintenance. Also, I've already got the prop removed, so if your prop isn't removed, go ahead and do that first. The tools you're gonna to need for this are pretty basic, and chances are you're already gonna have them, and they're gonna be Allen keys. You're probably gonna have two, maybe three bolts to undo. You've got two at the back here, which is a pinch mechanism to keep this in place, and then you've got one in here to actually adjust the tension on your belt. I'm gonna to have to undo this spacer plate here because my Allen key doesn't fit in there. Chances are you've got a newer motor than this, so you probably won't need to take off any spaces like this. You should be able to just get a long key in there, such as this one, and then adjust like so. Now, let's get this spacer off. Right, now that that's off, you can see that the Allen bolt here is what we need to adjust to adjust the tension on this belt. So to get this pulley loose, what we'll need to do is undo this Allen bolt here. Some motors will have two on top, some will have two on the side. This one only has one, so I'm just going to take that out first and then we should be able to adjust the wheel itself. Sometimes you'll need to take these right out, but you should be all right just leaving them in slightly because it's only a pinch mechanism to keep this nice and stable. Now that we've got our pinch bolt undone, we can take our bigger Allen wrench, pop it in the front here like so, and then as we loosen, you should see this belt loosen off as well. So without any other hands, there we go. Belt nice and loose, you take it all the way down and then your belt will come off like so. So now that you've got your belt off, you'll need to inspect it for any cracks or any chunks missing out of the belt. And that's a sign that the belt is worn and it'll need replacing. This one looks okay. I'm gonna pop this back on and tension her up. So at this stage, it's worth having a look around your pulleys and checking there's no oil and grit inside there that's gonna damage your new belt when you put it on. If there is, just give it a clean out with a nice clean piece of rag and you should be good to go. Obviously if there's oil on there, maybe use a degreaser as well just to get any residue off, all right? Let's get this belt put back on. We're gonna start by putting the bottom on first. It's already loose because when we've just loosened it before, Pop that on there like so. Take your Allen wrench and place it back in the center of the pulley like so. And you're gonna to wanna to tighten this up this time. So round to the right, and that's gonna bring that pulley up and it's gonna tension this belt. To know when you're tight enough on your belt, I'll send this figure chucked around in a few different places online, is between 20 degrees flex and 45 degrees flex. Now 45 degrees seems a bit extreme and 20 degrees is obviously the other end of the scale. So tighten that up and then Give it a little bit of a twist and see where you're at. Some machines will hold their pulley in place like this one has, so you can then go and tighten up your pinch bolt. Other machines you'll need to hold and then maybe get a friend or be a bit ambidextrous and then go and tighten that pinch bolt as well. I'm fairly happy that that's staying in place. I'm gonna take my other Allen key and I'm just gonna tighten up that pinch bolt. Once that's tightened up, give that a quick check. And once you're happy, take it out for a spin. It's probably good practice to put a little bit of Loctite on this pinch bar up here. That way, when you're in flight, the vibration isn't gonna shake it loose and then you're gonna to have to have an emergency landing in a field, which none of us really want, do we? So put a bit of Loctite on that bolt and then you should be golden. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hopefully it's been useful for some of you out there who have needed to adjust the belt on your parameter. If you like this video and you have found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. That way it helps this video reach the rest of the people on YouTube. If you want to see more of our paramotor adventures, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell icon next to it as well. That way YouTube will tell you when I release videos. Right then, time for a cup of tea. See you in the next one. So at this point it might be worth just having a look around these wheels. Wheels, wheels, what are they? What the f are these? What are these? What are these? Mark, where are you? What are these?
Hmm? What are they? Pulleys. They're, they're pulleys. That's what they are. 